So we typically don't see radishes or Nebraska species overwinter in Wisconsin, let alone in central Wisconsin. Um, th that's very common with Nebraska species to over to winter kill, um, and then we can plant into that residue the next spring. So this is a little bit of a unique case. Also unique about this is we have crimson clover overwintering. So that tells us that we had good snowpack all winter with not a lot of frost heaving to kill off those susceptible species to those colder temperatures. How important is it to, to maybe try something like this to see if it gets through winter and then what do we do next in the spring and the summer here? Well, it's essentially uh, essential to try these species on your farm so you get to know how to manage them, how they're going to grow on your farm, what they're going to look like, how to plant into those species. So this is a great test case, um, a great example of what can sometimes unexpectedly happen when you grow a cover crop, um, but certainly not a, a bad thing either. Um, something that's very easily managed with termination techniques and then very easy to plant into as well. What do you think Joe has to do next or you know what should he be looking for or worried about? Yeah so I'd let this accumulate a little bit more biomass. We can still see quite a bit of the soil surface out here. A nice no-till stand to plant into. Um, I'd let it grow for a few more weeks until it warms up and then think about terminating this once the nighttime temperatures are above 40 degrees for three days and the daytime temperatures are above 50 degrees. That way you get good herbicide translocation in this. I'd also want to scout this for any weeds um, before terminating to make sure that you get any weeds that might be um, underneath the cover crop terminated as well and then plant into that residue. Of course, adjusting the planter, checking the planter often in this field is going to be important because it's going to be much different field conditions than say a conventional till or even a conventional no-till field. And then lastly, would you maybe suggest trying this to different parts of the state just to see with different weather? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I work primarily in southern Wisconsin. We've had crimson clover over winter before, but when I talk to my colleagues farther north, it's very rare for crimson clover to overwinter and unheard of for turnips to overwinter. So certainly something to try more often. Um, some species evaluations would be a good idea. Um, it's a good opportunity for some of the producer-led groups to look at examining some of these species on their farms. Planting dates is going to influence that. If we would have planted these, say, um, in late fall, I would not expect them to do a whole lot at all. So that's another interesting aspect to cover crops is that planting dates very important.